Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called propranolol hydrochloride, and it is also known by its brand name, which is Enderol. It falls under the class of non-selective beta blockers. So how does it work in the body? It antagonizes the beta receptors, which decreases the heart rate, the myocardial contractility, the blood pressure, and the overall oxygen demand of the heart. Your indications are going to be hypertension, angina pectoris, VTAC, SVT, ventricular fibrillation that is refractory to lidocaine. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure to abide by your protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your dose is 1 to 3 milligrams diluted in 10 to 30 milliliters of D5W. If you haven't already seen my video on D5W, I'll go ahead and link it in the right-hand corner. Definitely go check that out. Administer it at a rate of 1 milligram a minute. Your pediatric dose is 0.01 to 0.05 milligrams per kilogram, slow IV push over 10 minutes. Contraindications include CHF, cardiogenic shock, second and third third degree blocks, bradycardia, bronchial asthma, and sick sinus syndrome. A few adverse reactions that could happen with the administration of propranolol is fatigue, nausea, vomiting, weakness, bradycardia, drowsiness, pulmonary edema, hypotension, and dysrhythmias. Drug interactions. It does potentiate succinylcholine, and conduction abnormalities may get worse with calcium channel blockers. It is supplied 1 milligram in 1 milliliter vials. A few side notes about propranolol hydrochloride is that you want to constantly monitor vital signs and EKG because things Things can change very, very quickly. Effects may be reversed by norepinephrine or dopamine. Use with caution in your elderly population. And remember that if there is a beta blocker overdose or you're suspecting a possible beta blocker overdose, 3 to 10 milligrams of glucagon can help reverse this type of overdose. Remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.